Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander Tactical. Now, are you on the lookout for a pair of sunglasses that are not just going to protect you from the sun, but also might protect you around maybe a pew-pew kind of environment? Now, the Wiley X Ovations might just be the glasses for you, so let's take a closer look. Before we get into the glasses themselves, I'm just going to put these down for a second, mainly to show you what you get extra inside the case that comes with these. Let me just put those there. Uh, so these do come with this hard case, which I think is great, um, mainly because, like a lot of things, if this is something that you want to protect your eyes, it's important that you protect them and look after them as much as possible. In Wiley also recommends that you check the lenses uh, to make sure that there's no scratches or dents or, or things like that on them too. And when I'm talking about scratches, I'm talking about deep scratches and not just about just just like tiny surface scratches. Uh, but so in Inside, inside here you get quite a few things. So the first thing you get is this really large uh, microfiber cloth, which is great. Personally, as soon as I put these back in here, I wrap them in the microfiber cloth and then put them back in, uh, just to make sure that they're, they're kept safe from these extra items, but I also keep these in here as well. Uh, these extra items that we have, so there's a couple of things. First thing that you get is a lanyard with, or I guess you'd call this a lanyard? What would you call this? What would you call this? I, I tell you what, let's hear below, what would you call this? I call it a neck lanyard, but I don't know, what would you like to call this? Uh, so these, if you've probably seen these before, so this has some nice uh, cordage with a, a, a strap adjuster or length adjuster. So if you want to put this around your neck, if you're doing some motocross, if you're doing some mountain biking, if you're out uh, doing some, I don't know, stand up paddle boarding, whatever you want to do with this to make sure that they don't fall off. Uh, and then on the end here, you have these two rubber pipes. So all you do is push your glasses push these onto your glasses and it will make sure that they will keep them on your head. Or if you do want to take them off, you can take them off and you can put them against your chest. Um, so yeah, it's great that they have these included. In fact, it's really nice. Uh, you look at Oakley glasses, you look at some other glasses. These are a additional accessories that you have to pay separately for. So the fact that they come in the box is brilliant. And then the extra bit is in this small little bag. So on the inside, now as I mentioned a few times, and we, we will go through uh, exactly how these protect against UVA and UVB, um, but these are rated glasses in the fact that if you want to take these to uh, the range, uh, they're also rated to a level at which you can play airsoft in these. Um, they do say paintballing in the literature. I don't think I'd want to paintball with these um, purely because of the amount of splatter that you get from paintballing. However, it, it does say in there. Uh, but these are additional shields. So what you will see, so if I hold these up like this, hopefully you'll be able to see underneath, um, underneath both of the arms, you have these two slots. And then on the inside here, there are just this little dimple. So how this works is you have these slots here, or you have this male section which will go into this female section and then you have exactly the same this is the dimple that goes in there uh, these are also labeled as well so you've got left and you've got oh, sorry you've got right and you've got left so when you put these on what you do is so i got that the wrong way around uh, so you push this into here gives a little bit of a click and then the dimple just fits in there on that side and then it's exactly the same with this one so you can take these from being out and about to going to the range in there and it will stop uh, any dirt, it will stop any debris, it will stop anything from being able to get into the side of these to help to protect your eyes. I will say they're a bit of a bugger to get off. You have to kind of make sure you hold, make sure you're holding the arm, hold it here and if you imagine that this is a pivot you have to pull these down so that it pivots that way. So you have to kind of grip it there, pull it, grip it there and pull it. Like I say, they're a bit of a bugger to get off. So for now, just, just, for, just for the sake of it, let's leave them on here, especially with my dirty fingers all over the lenses.
Now talking of the lenses themselves, these are the brown lenses. There are a few different versions or colours of these. So the frames on here are these really nice root beer frames. Um, I do like those kind of turtle shell frames, tortoise shell frames. Uh, so the root beer ones on here are really nice. The, the lenses on here are brown lenses which gives an ever so slight yellow tinge, but what that does is it gives you really good contrast uh, and balance between uh, certainly green areas like this. Very good for mountain biking if you're moving quickly through green, shrubbery, through bush, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, it gives you um, a, almost an enhanced level of being able to get a little bit more depth perception. Um, they're also, as I've mentioned before, these are also rated and they have a few different ratings on here. If you want to, you can get prescription lenses for these. You just need to make sure that you check with Wiley X, um, or at least places that can put uh, them, them into these. Uh, but there are, there are a couple of different levels that you've got on here. So you've got your ANSI HP, HVP rating, um, which goes from, if I remember rightly, it's a 6.4 or 6.35 millimeter uh, projectile that's traveling over it's 160 something, um, oh, is it now? 160 kilometers, no, it can't be 160 kilometers an hour or, or meters per second. So, yes, it, it can take quite a decent hit um, without shattering and then, you know. Uh, harming your eyes um, but there is also an additional one on there I think this is the is the AVA is the what is it called now it's the ANSI HVP I think that is a worldwide standard or is that a US standard whereas then you've also got the EN166 standard which is one of the European ones which will take a 22 millimeter uh, steel projectile that's moving at 18 kilometers an hour um, that's probably right actually, yeah, so it's 18 kilometers an hour um, and it will hit like a, a like a you know a small BB is hitting on these which why is which, which is why these are perfect for things like um, uh, for, for airsoft just in case you wanted some more information around those uh, it does give you the information in here as far as your ANSI, uh, as far as your ANSI and the the, the, uh, the EN 166 um, so the, the the codes that are on here or on the sides you can check the literature that comes with this so that it can give you more information and it will also give you the links if you check the websites as well the frames for these these are classed as a medium to large size sized frame or at least for for my face, um, I, I have a pretty large head and these fit me perfectly. Uh, but you're looking at 56 millimeters by 18 millimeters as far as as far as the depth on these. I'll check. I think it's 144 on here, but I'll, I'll leave I'll leave that below. Um, but the, the the quality of the plastics on here is is in, is incredibly strong. Should you need to, you can heat these up ever so slightly, so that they will fit your face, or at least they will hug round your face a little bit more. Uh, but there is some grooving along the inside here, just to make sure that they sit perfectly as well. But these are incredibly nice glasses. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well. So with those uh, the, with those side protectors on here, they will still fold. They will still close perfectly. It's not something that you have to take off um, if you are wanting to use these as range glasses. Now, think whether you're law enforcement, in the military, or to address the point that I made at the beginning of this for that pew pew environment if you're somebody that's after some protection from the sun but also secondary from flying debris then I think Wiley X have you covered and let's let's face it we're not talking about a fashion brand here Wiley X have become one of the top brands out there that have been trusted by law enforcement by the military by civilians that want to make sure that their eyes are protected the beauty of the Wiley X observations is you get to protect your eyes whilst also looking good um, that was cheesy as hell, but I'm still probably going to leave that in. Um, now, I will say, so these were sent to me from Military First. I want to say a huge thank you and a shout out to Military First. Military First, if you're unaware, are 
one of the UK's, if not the UK's largest military and outdoor uh, online retailer, stocking brands from all over the world. Here in the UK, I, they, I mean, they must be the the best stocked Helicon Tex brand, uh, sorry, online retailer that we have here. Um, yeah, so much that they have, and I think if you're after or enjoyed that sort of lifestyle, you should definitely give them a shout out. They've been a supporter of the channel now for at least four, maybe five years. Um, yeah, you guys rock. I'm looking forward to what we'll work on next, but I'll leave Military First links below. I'll leave some of my social media links below so you can follow me here on Moreland Tactical and on my other on my other channel. I keep wanting to say site. Why do I want to say site? It's not really a site, is it, you was uh, On my other channel, Moreland EDC. Um, but yes, as always, for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay tactical. Wally X really are one of the top names out there and I think a crossover set of glasses like this are just perfect. Just perfect? They're just perfect. I don't know where I was going to go with that but you're right, they're just perfect. Prick. I don't know why I keep saying sight. Is it because I'm old? Is it because I is... Bl I'm not going to say that. I'll get banned off YouTube. Now, I definitely say this kind of Ray-Ban 1950s, 1950s? Is it 1950s? <coughs> I think it's, I think it was, like, start again. Hobda, 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 hob. I am a huge fan of this classic Ray-Bans look, and I think these glasses pay homage to, hom homage, homage, hom, homage. Hom homage. Homage? No, it did. You are the first time. Homage. Let's do that again. <laughs> Hi. I'm the Moorlander, and sometimes I like to have a cough. <clears throat> Hope you're all having a good Friday. Uh, yeah. That's it, really. Have a good Friday. See you all. Bye.